Hi there guys. Today in Vinyl Cut we'll be looking at how to set a custom mat size and also how to set the orientation from portrait to landscape and how that will affect your final designs cutout. Today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. Software Training's website has lots of videos about how to solve specific software problems in real use cases. New videos uploaded daily. Okay, now once we're in Vinyl Cut, let's start by setting the mat size. Default, we can see here, the mat is 12 inches by 12 inches. Zoom in here, you can see on the ruler. But uh, for the sake of this video, I'll just be setting mine to centimeters. So we, in order to do this, we go to our document icon here on the right panel by the properties. Then we go to units, and we just set this from inches to centimeters. Then next up, we can look at the, what the default canvas sizes that come with, or the mat sizes. So we've got 12 by 12 and 12 by 24 inches. If we click that, you can see the change of the actual dimensions. Let's go back to 12 by 12. And then if you want something custom, like let's say your, your design requires something very specific, you can go to custom size and then under here width and height. So let's set this to centimeters as well. Let's say we'll make this. 10 by 10 then if we click OK we'll see the canvas size changes now obviously you'll have to rescale your graphics and that to fit accordingly let's just set this back to that and then let's say you want to make a, a preset that you can just select from here if it's something you use a lot so once again we'll go here to custom scale our size and then we set this to centimeters like this 10 10 and then you can say save preset let's put in a name here 10 by 10 we go cm for centimeters click ok now if you go to your custom mat size again now you will find that preset here under the options so you can switch to your the default and then let's switch here to 10 by 10 And then next up, let's look at the orientation. Now, this can get a bit confusing, so I'll be running through a, a preview of the cutter as well, just to get your head more around what's happening here. But then let's just set the mat size to something that makes sense, so we can see the orientation different. So we go 12 by 24 inches. And then we go here to orientation, from portrait to landscape. And we'll ask us, do you want to adjust the objects to match the new uh, orientation let's just say yes so this is all the graphics it will fit towards new orientation and then you will notice here we've got a little arrow and this indicates which way the paper will be going when it cuts so you can kind of have a mental reference of where the cutter could be so we set this back to orientation back to portrait you'll see now the arrows on top here so this is kind of your only ref real reference to know where's what in the, the orientation settings. Now next up, let's look at the cutter preview so we can get an idea of uh, where the cutter is going to be and so forth. So now if we go to something like 12 by 12 inches, you see it can get a bit confusing to where your design located to the cutter. So then um, let's just set a generic cutter here. Yeah? Now when we go to the cutter, it will give you this uh, option where you can actually see where your cutting machine is going to be in reference to the design. So the paper will get fed in from this side towards the arrow here. And then, so if we now just cancel out this and set the orientation now to landscape. And if we go back to cutter, now you'll see your cutter is on the right going towards that arrow so you can always as a quick reference just go to your cutter and see to for it to make more sense but also a good practice is um, you can just let's say most of your designs is going to be cutting in this orientation like let's say landscape then you put your cutter in front of your machine or your computer in a similar orientation so you always know okay, if it looks right in your computer when you print it out or cut it out it's going to be the same with your machine 
that is uh, one option, one way one can do that. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. For more videos like this, visit softwaretraining.co.za. You can easily navigate by software name, version, and select the topic you would like to watch. You search the challenge you're facing. If you do not find the answers you're looking for, you can also submit a request here so we can make the video for you. Till next time, cheers.